I've been using a portion of my mother's storage unit to house all this wood that I've been salvaging from the Red Rooster Inn. This wood is dating from before World War I. It's old growth lumber from 1902 to 1913. You can definitely tell with that grain structure. It's really dense and really hard and it's just a shame to throw it away. So I've been dragging it over here and I'm now needing to take all the nails out because it just won't stack with all these nails in it. Plus, it's not as nice to use it. So, I've been putting it onto the sawhorse with this clamp and ripping out all the nails. Now, this is only half of the lumber that I've actually saved from the Red Rooster Inn Stumpster. So, I can't bring it all here until I get this denailed and sorted. But, this was half of the pile. This pile was twice as big. And once I removed all the nails, it actually went down quite a bit into just these two columns. One of my goals for this lumber is to clean it all up and then make a big shelving system out of the lumber because it's nice and it's really sturdy and just have plenty of shelf space for anything we might need to store and especially anything my mother might need to store in here. So yeah, I've just been slowly going through and cleaning up the nails. I'm not sure how to film this because it might be kind of boring, but who knows? Now this one is broken halfway up to here, and this is like a, I believe this is a 1913 one. Uh, although I could be wrong. But for this one, I'll probably just kind of cut right there, and not worry about taking off these nails. You know what, maybe this is the 1930s stuff. I'm not sure. So there was one bathroom that we undid that had like some 1930s wood in it and it was actually really, really crappy. Ah, crap. Damn it. That's another thing, I need to put a magnet on there to catch the nails. Otherwise, it'll just go everywhere. Ah, God damn it. So this is now clean on here, so I can actually put it up right. I'm really not a fan of these wood paneling nails because I didn't even notice they were here until like for after the first five or so boards. Like that. Because I think what they would do is at one point they ripped out the paneling and just popped them back into the wood and so some of them were really really hidden. You know, I think I might pass on boards like this. So this one is just so light. It's almost like a brand new board. And there's several knots in it. And if I remember correctly, this is one of those boards that, well, it pretty much caused the, the failure and downfall of, the other, of my other sawhorse. Plus, look at those lines. So thick and, uh, what's the opposite of dense? Thin? Yeah. Well, I mean, well, that wouldn't really work. Like one like this is a lot heavier. This board is maybe two thirds the length, but heavier than that other board. And then there's some other ones that are extremely heavy. That's a good one. Yeah, it's, it's pretty heavy. So here's something that I don't have very many of. I believe this is a one by six. Or two by six, I'm not sure what it, what, it would, what it would be. I'm not sure how old this one is. I'm not thinking, well, I don't know. The It is pretty heavy and the lines are pretty dense. So, I don't know. It could be original. So 
So whenever you have these tall nails that are really big and difficult to get out like this, not like that one, like that one, then what you want to do is um, put a block behind it and then you can pull it up. It's actually a lot easier. These are some big ass nails. So this is a 12 footer that has split at the end. I'm going to cut it right here. And man, it smells so good. Smells so good, far better than any new new wood, and I think that is just big enough for a tool handle. Maybe cut it there and turn that on a lathe. Possibly the same for the other one too. Looks like we got ourselves some square nails. Now square nails predate the construction of this building. This building was mostly made with round nails, but I'm thinking somebody might have had some like new old stock square nails because every so often in that building you'll just find some square nails. Kind of interesting. Looks like these are pressed ones, or stamped ones, I mean, so probably late 1800s, if not original for that time. I mean, like, these might be new old stock from the late 1800s, or these might actually be from 1902, I'm not sure. So it's been several weeks. Actually, it might have been like more, almost a month. You can't tell, though, because it's still really cold. In fact, it's actually still around freezing point, so... It's really not the weather to be getting soon, but I gotta get it done because I have all the other wood to come and do. Whoops.
think I'll probably burn that one. I'm not going to bother paying that. You know what? Both of these will be burned because these are these are the newer ones from the 1950s. Yeah, they're the nice old ones. got it pretty much done there's still all these little pieces to do but I don't think I'm gonna do these for the most part because a lot of these are just ones that I should probably pitch they're very fragile or they have mold over them or they're just too short to be too useful or at least in comparison to the long lumber that I still have of the red rooster that I need to bring here because I have probably a good 20 or so more 12 footers that I should bring so that brings up the next thing. I think I'm going to use some of this to make some nice big shelving. That'll be its own video, but I could just use metal brackets, but a part of me almost wants to try some of those Japanese jointing mechanisms where you uh, precisely carve the wood and you wedge it together to where there's, there's no metal or, or anything. It's just all wood joinery, whatever it's called. But I think that would probably be a bit too uh, advanced for me. So I'm probably just going to get some nice angle brackets and make some really nice heavy duty shelves. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and thank you very much for watching. See ya!